Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress Websites. In this video, we will see how to create a shop or WooCommerce or e-commerce with the Astra free theme. You can see this is the organic store by Astra with home, about, contact and other pages. When you go to the main website, click live preview. On the main page, you can see the logo on the left side, then the menu items with who are color changing, with about us and contact us pages, with the purchase basket and login or my account logo for the customers. Then you can see the main slider item with the left sided image, on the right side the subheading, main heading, description with shop now button. Then you can have the main summary description like free shipping, certified, those kind of things you can put here. After that, it will display the best selling products with four columns. If you want, you can minimize to three or may increase to five or six, those kind of things. Again, it is describing the categorical items like categories you can display here with the shop now button. Then it shows the advertisement banner. Again, it shows the trending products with four columns. You can increase or minimize the column numbers. And then it shows the customer reviews and main featured brand logos if you want you can put or else you can remove and the main footer footer there is three column one the first column shows about us description second column having quick links the main links of the website then site links like pri uh, privacy policy shipping details those kind of things and the third column it having the mobile app or something else you can put or else you can remove this unnecessary things on the bottom the copyright so you can put your copyright with your name and the social media icons in the bottom when you go to the shop page that is everything you can change the name of the menu here on the left side customers can search the products and they can filter products with the price range and on the shop the customers can sort the products like popularity average rating latest low to high high to low price those kind of things and here you can see the three column one you can increase the columns on the left side there are popular or sale products available also you can have many pages as you like on the second one the main shop is categorized into the category like groceries juice and other items kind of items so any products you can add in the categories so when you click groceries the similar kind of page appears again juice the title with some description then the products when you open a single product you can see the product title short description here you can see the regular price with the sale price and the shipping details and the quantity the customers can add and add to cart and down you can put the description and the customers can review your product the products reviews only visible when you approve it otherwise it will not visible and you can see the related products on the product page that is the soft pages on the right hand you can have the about you can see the about us details these can be edited with the elementor so you can put whatever details you want or else you can put any template for these pages you can see the slider images on this side and the certification those kind of things and on the contact us page you can see your contact number email and the location and if you want you can add the contact us form here it easily you can done and the quick questions frequently asked questions with the answers displayed so those kind of things are there so this theme is the free theme totally customizable with your own one so let's see how to install demo import and fully customize this theme first before installing any wordpress theme you have to have your domain name hosting with ssl installed and wordpress installed how to do these things have been explained in separate videos. Please watch our playlist or read the description and please subscribe our channel for more videos. First, we have to install the Astra theme. For that, you have to go to your WordPress dashboard by giving WP admin details. Then go to appearance, then click themes. In the themes, click add new. Search Astra. So this is the Astra theme. So click install. Once installed, click activate now the extra theme told and activated so let's install the demo data so to install the demo data you have to install the starter templates plugin so to do that click this get started okay it will activate activate the starter templates okay it will show getting started with starter templates go down 
click build your website now so we have to select the page builder so we are going to use the elementor so you can select this elementor builder now it will show the premium and free themes in this video we are going to use only free themes and plugin so let's use the free theme for shop so search for shop so there are so many shops free shops available this brand store shop we have already explained in a different tutorial you can see the description so in this video we are going to use this organic store so let's click this one here it will ask for the logo and other things for the moment we don't need to do it here we can do it in later part so let's install as it is so click skip and continue it will ask the theme color you can change the theme color for the tutorial purpose we, we can keep it the default color and move on so let's click continue here you, you can give your details and make sure these all options are selected then click submit and build my website so it will take a couple of minutes depend on your hosting and the internet speed wait till that so one error message coming check out plugin strip for woocommerce unable to install so no problem click here and we'll try again and submit and build your website okay congratulations now it's done so click view your website wow now you can see all the demo cutters have been imported when you open a single product you can see those details are appearing when you open the contact page so all the cutters are there so let's see how to completely customize this theme you can customize the page in many ways one you can click this customize and access the editing and second way you can go back go to your wordpress dashboard and go to appearance and here also you can click customize or else you can go up and select this extra theme and, and here click customize or you can click this dashboard and here go down in the dashboard you can access the quick settings in the quick settings you can edit the site identity header builder footer builder color typography button and those kind of things so let's click this site identity it will open following thing site identity with site icon and site title and logo settings when you hover on your mouse icon you can see this pen icon once you click these two you can edit so both ways you can access so let's put this select site icon select files and i'll put this one click open and select no need to corrupt just copy image okay the site identity means once you open your website in a new tab it will show like this you can see now the site title is showing if you not put it will just put show this global icon when you put a identity icon you can see that icon here so let's publish this one okay, go back okay once it's done go down here you can select the site title and logo settings that also access by clicking here as well so let's click this site title and logo here you can change the logo and you can change the site title site title is useful for google search engine optimization so i just put my shop if you're having electronic shop you can put electronic or some other items we just put that name okay so let's change the logo click change logo again i can use the same image select so skip cropping okay now the logo have been changed but it is very bigger so when you if you need to minimize you can increase or minimize this logo option if it's a rounded one around 80 is enough enough if you have a longer one you can change the logo width according to that and if you want to put any tagline you can put here for example so i have put number one online shopping platform so this will appear in google search optimization so if you want to activate this different logo for retina devices you can put a different logo for here or else you can just keep the same one and this uh, site will be visible in tab mobile and if you want to display the tagline within the logo you can activate this when you click this one the tagline will appear okay now let's edit this menu items and this cart and this my account items for that you can go to this header builder similarly you can access the header builder here as well so let's click and here and see okay it can open up in the header builder so header builder that elements are the site title and logo we have already edited 
this account one that is in the right side here and the card and the primary menu and the secondary menu the header type also this this is the transparent header transparent means the background will appear with the header item and each item also can be added by clicking here as well so many ways you can add it that is the beauty of this astra theme so let's click this account so in general the profile type if you want to put an icon you can select icon like this or avatar this image may appear or text like this my account so many ways you can put so let's put an icon and if you the customer is logged out view it can be none or tag icon or text whatever if the customer is logged out so those kind of things you can do here and go back and when you click cart you can edit this cart icons if you want to put this one you can change it and card label no need to edit that things and card count in the customers purchase items the number of items will be appear here here now it's zero and the customers buy one two three items it will appear the number and hide the card total label the once the customers adding adding the items it will add the the total will be added here if you don't want to display this one you can hide but better to see this one so the customers get an idea how much they are purchasing and card with you can change the card width so those kind of things you can have here and go back and the primary menu okay here is the menu so if you want to edit this menu with you can change here this item divider is activated okay the configure menu from here so once you click so the main menu that's here and if you put secondary menu it will appear and off canvas menu you can select and logged in menu once the customer logged into the system they can see which which menu we, they want to see if you want the main menu those kind of things so let's keep as main menu so in the main footer menu also you can keep the main menu so if you want to edit this main menu names and other things you can add click edit menu here or else we can go to appearance and select menu so first let's publish this one and go back and go to appearance and here select menus okay it will open like this the same thing you can do here edit by clicking this edit menu it also bring to the same place let's see here you can see the same place the menu is appearing so better to uh, forward with this method because this method is the global method for any theme so here you can see the shop page is named as everything and shop categories that's groceries tools uh, as a category i sub so coming like this so if you want to change this name click this arrow so here you can change this as shop if you want you can make a shop and those categories you can keep as groceries and here you can put accessories or something so those kind of things you can do so this main menu will appear in the primary value as well the logged in account menu also in the footer menu as we selected earlier if you want to change the order of the menu you can just drag and drop for example if you want to change this to you can drag here like this and if you want to keep this uh, accessories and globals to the sub menu of the shops you can just drag like this and keep so now it's become as sub item so let's save menu and let's refresh the shop and see now you can see the sh the shop like this once customers click it will appear like this so if you don't want to keep like this you can just drag here and drag here so let's save so like that you can edit okay let's come to the front page and see how to edit the front page contents you can see the front page contents are here so let's see how to edit to edit you can go to edit page and edit with elementor or else you can directly click with edit with elementor and you can edit so let's click this edit with elementor okay let's click continue okay now you can see each section have been highlighted with the different colors and once you move your mouse you can see each section is selected so if you want to edit this image in this area this is a sub this icon is subsection and this pen icon is editing the widget so when you click this widget item you can see you can edit this image so this image is a 
full size image so you can minimize image size according to your needs so i keeping as a full size so full size means it completely covers the widget area so if you want to change this image you can click choose image and you can upload your preferred image or if the image is here you can select the image and select that's it so on the right side you can see there is a small image and a small heading and a big heading so this is the column icon so when you click this pen icon you can see you can edit this image if you want you can change this image or else if you don't want this icon you can right click and you can delete okay that part is delete now when you click this best quality products icon you can see you can edit the text here or else you can directly edit the text here as well so both ways you can edit once you click other other heading you can see this is the image box so in the image box you can put any image or else you can edit this part if you want to go move down you can widen this area and you can go down like this so once you click you can see it's an image box if you want you can choose an image here or else you can edit this text to so those kind of things you can edit and this is a button so when you click this icon you can see it shows the button widget so you can keep the default widget if you want to edit this text you can edit the text and you can give the text a link you can see now there's no link let me show you if you go to the front page when you click this shop now it will not move to any page it's just a default asterisk icon is there so it will not move any page if you want the customers to click this shop now and to lead the customers to shop page you can click this shop page and copy this shop link and go back to the shop button and here remove this hash icon and you can put the shop link now you can update once you update go back and go to the home page okay now you can see when the customers click this shop now it will redirect to the shop page okay let's widen this screen and go down and here you can see the text boxes so this is the section and this is the columns there are four columns and the main color so if you want to edit this color you can click this icon this is the layout so go to style so here you can see the color is black so if you want to change it a different color like greenish like this one okay you can update so you can change this background color and let's come to the column so these are the default settings if you want to edit the style you can edit the style or else you can keep as it is and once you click this box this is the icon box this is the icon box widget of uh, elementor so you can see the icon and the text and the sub, sub description so if you want to change the icon you can go to the icon library and you can select the icon and if you want to edit this text you can edit the text here and the description you can edit similarly you can edit all other icon boxes okay let's come down here you can see the best selling products title so once you click this column you can see this column contents column settings you can see the column width we go to the advanced if you want to minimize the margin you can minimize here you can see you can reduce or increase the margin size as well so those are kind of things you can do and once you click this edit products you can edit the text as well also if you want to change the image you can change or else you can if you don't want this image area you can delete here it's simple so this is the best selling products so when you come to the best selling products there are four products listed here so once you click this area there's a short code the short code says product limit is four and columns four so there are four columns with four products so if you want to increase it six you can make it six and what are the product to be visualized you can see the featured products from the grocery category is visualized here so in the next part of the video i'll show you how the category is created and how it is displayed so when you make it six column it is not nice looking nice so you can keep it as the default four and this is four this is the default one okay let's widen the screen and go down here also you can see our next section with the image here if you want to keep you can give the image or else you can change or you can delete and these are image boxes there is an image title and the contents so when you click this part pen icon you can see the title part you can edit here 
on the description part you can edit here similarly you can do it in other section also when you come to the edit button section you can see the shop now button is here and here also there's no link so if you want to link it to the shop area you can paste the shop link here as we done earlier you can paste the shop link here and similarly you can do it others as well if you want to edit these images so go to the column editor in the left side corner and go to style and go down and click this background overlay so here you can find the background overlay image if you want you can change similarly you can access the other part of the columns like, like you can see this background overlay and you can edit or change this overlay that's it so those kind of things you can do it here when you go down here you can see a banner this is another section and you click so you can edit this title heading if you want to give a uh, link to this button you can give link to the button if you don't want this also you can delete so let's go back and see here you can see trending products there are four products as trending go to the editing section you can edit this heading and second part is the image you can edit the image and when you come here it's the short code as we edited earlier the short code shows four column items here so four numbers are here if you want you can minimize into three and visibility it's showing the featured products from the juice and groceries so when you create a featured products that featured products will be appear here so i'll show you how to mark one product as a featured in a few minutes time so these prices this rating and this ad card parts are woocommerce part i'll show you how to edit that woocommerce section if you go down here you can see the customer reviews so before the customer reviews you can see the background image as well so i'll show you how to edit that background image go slightly up you can see this section so once you click this section icon you can see you can click style and the background overlay you can see you can give a background with the overlay those are minor parts if you have interest you can edit those kind of things and here also this is the edit image widget you can edit the image and let's go to the next section and here this is the inner section one you can see this one a default alignment one vertical alignment is default and this one is middle and this one is also default once you click here it's the testimonial part so as a customer review you can give some testimonials by creating yourself so here you can edit a good comment and you can put a customer image sample customer with sample name and if you want to you, you can give a post facebook or twitter link of this customer similarly you can create an image box with the image and the shop now icon and here also you can create a star rating you can give star rating 0 to 5 and you can give 5 and this testimonial you can give with the customer image with the facebook or twitter link you can put the link here so those kind of things you can add and once you go down you can see the featured brand so you can add featured brand section so this is the topic so heading so you can give a featured brands or you can give our brands like that and here you can edit the logo so this is the image gallery you can add some images so these are images so if you want to add some more gallery items you can add more galleries and you, you can put them in the uh, brand list so you can remove this one and you can add new images and you can create okay let's edit the final part that is the editing of the footer when you go down you will not see any editing option for the footer yes the footer part editing is different so go to the wordpress dashboard again so come to the dashboard click extra and extra dashboard so here you can see the footer builder customization so click that so it will bring to the footer editing widget there are copyright widget and widget one two three four so when you click copyright you can see the copyright it shows the current year and the site title so no need to edit that one let's i'll show you that you can see the copyright is here and the site title you can edit the site title with your uh, website name so it will appear here automatically so that is one part so no need to do anything here and go back and click widget one sometime you may feel uncomfortable when you edit here so there's another way also editing so i'll show you that method also go to the appearance and click widgets here and go down and here also you can see the footer builder widget one two three four when you click drop down menu one it showed 
the download our mobile app and the quick link so you can see that is here download mobile app and the quick link so if you don't want you can delete this download our mobile app you can delete here so if you want to keep this quick links you can keep that and go to the widget number two it shows the menu links so if you want you can keep and also it shows the site links if you want you can keep or else you can delete here so for the moment i'll keeping that go to the widget number three showing this uh, get on google play and google apple Pay. if you want this one so if you want you can keep or else you can delete so i don't have any apple and those kind of things so widget three i can delete and widget number four you can see this one this organic store and those kind of things if you want you can keep if you want to change the image you can change the image here replace image with a new one those kind of things you can do and if you want to give a link you can give the link of your website once it's done you can update okay, it's saving so let's refresh and see okay you can see the unnecessary google app those kind of things is deleted so if you want to delete the site links also you can delete go back site links delete okay now go back and refresh so now you can see a compact footer so this is how you can edit the footer menu so let's edit the shop products categories and how to create a new shop and how to link your paypal or the payment methods in next part okay let's go to the shop page okay once you go to the shop page you can see like this here you can see filter by price and you can search the products here and the product categories are available here groceries juice and other items and some sales products are here in the left side on the right side you can see the product list on the right side you can see the products list is showing 1 to 9 of 12 results you can short the products by popularity average rating latest price low to high and high to low so those kind of things customers can do and here you can see the normal products and here you can see the products with the sale batch and one uh, and next page you can open like this so when you click a, a product here you can see it's a sale product because it's showing earlier price is 35 the latest price is 25 i'll show you how to create this kind of products so it shows the product title with the product price that is the regular price and this is the sales price and the shipping this is a free shipping and short description of the product and the add to cart and the number of product customers can add many products and the product category this product is categorized into groceries as well as in the juice when you come down you can see the description of the product come back to the description and here you can see the related products you can create related products to this to appear in the same product page so how to create a product and how to categorize them for that go to your wordpress dashboard and here you can see the products you can see the old products add new this is the new product you can adding categories tags attributes those kind of things so once you click all products you can see the products you are selling and products with the sale are mentioned like this regular price with the sale price and here you can see the category so this products only categorized into the groceries but this products categorized into the groceries as well as in the juice so like that you can categorize so once you click categories there's no products in uncategorized but some or 10 products categorized as the groceries and nine products are categorized as the juice so if you want to add some more category you can add for example vegetable you can add a new category here you can see it added as a vegetable so if you mark some product as vegetable it will appear as the vegetable category similarly you can create and here you can create the tags product tags tags are important in the search engine optimization so created the relevant tags or relevant uh, keywords of the products and the attributes here you can give some attributes to the products so those kind of things you can do so let's go to the woocommerce and how to create the woocommerce setup so create this woocommerce so I'll just give this guidance and here you can give the country and go to my store so here you can create a themes or else you can keep the default theme 
and create setup payments so there are payments methods available you can create type and you can add paypal payments so those kind of things you can add and also you can add the direct bank transfer and cash on delivery so those kind of things you can set up so once you click get started you can add stripe also when you click get started you can go to the paypal payments method after completion of that step come to the dashboard click woocommerce and click settings here you have to set up the basic setting of your woocommerce or the shop first is general setting so if you already provided your address and details it will appear here or else you just type again for selling locations if you sell to all countries you select that one or else if you select selling to specific countries you select the country for example i am selling my items to usa and uk so first i am selecting the united states then uk also i am selecting so shipping location you can keep as the default that is ship to all countries you sell to so you can keep that as default and other things you can enable or disable the next item the currency so the default currency is us dollar so if you want to change the currency you can select the currency here other things you can keep as default and save changes next menu item is products so open that so shop page is already set up as store so you can keep as default other items you can keep as default and enable review so you can enable products reviews show verified owner label of the customer reviews and reviews can only be left by verified owner so you can select all the things and product rating also you can uh, enable or disable finally you can save the changes the next menu item is shipping so i am opening here so you have to create your shipping zone and shipping methods so first i am click creating add shipping zone so first i want to add my local shipping area so i am giving shipping zone as usa so in zone region so you can select the country so here I, my region is usa so i am selecting the country as usa so now i edit the shipping method so here i'll ship this items as free shipping so i am selecting as free shipping and save let's add another shipping zone so here i am going to add a zipping sort out the outside USA so for example I am uh, putting as Europe so zone region so you can add the countries you are included in the Europe so I just for example I'm including United Kingdom then add shipping method so here I am adding as flat rate so not free so flat rate and adding shipping method so once you add the flat rate so you have to enter the amount you are going to charge so edit here and it is taxable and you can add a cost so I am adding 12 USD so if the buyer buys from USA it's free but by buying from UK it is costing around 12 dollars let's go to the payments so once you come to the payments there are several payments methods available you can see the WooCommerce payments that support the Google Pay and Apple Pay and also stripe card processing alipay ideal klarna presley bank contact wechat sepa direct bank transfer cash payments cash and delivery and if you already set up the paypal and stripe that payment method also will appear here so each method you can enable or disable so depending on your country and on your needs you can uh, enable and disable and you can finish the setups with these those things after the setup is done you can save the changes next menu item is accounts and privacy so there are uh, nothing much to edit so if you want to uh, uh, allow the guest checkout you can allow it or else you can allow the allow customers to log into existing account during checkout and also account creation you can allow the customers to create a new account during checkout <coughs> and allow customers to create account on my account page so all the other things we can activate or deactivate here and personal data renewal also you can activate or deactivate in the registration privacy policy the default one is here so you can if you want you can add your one and you can save the changes next woocommerce menu item is emails so once you open so the email the default email you are using to register the uh, wordpress dashboard is already added here so you, you can allow as default so if you want to change the email addresses 
for new order cancel order failed order all the other things you can click this man manage icon and here you can edit the email address so it's so simple the next menu item is integrations but here there's much nothing much to edit so just leave as default in advance multi currency those things are no need to edit so leave as the de uh, default one so this is the basic setup of the WooCommerce let's see how to add a new product so come back to the dashboard click products and click add new so already added products are available so click add new so you can give the product name and product description and you can select the product category we have already created or else you can get uh, add the new category here so I am adding a category called fashion so add that new category and on the downstack the product data you can put simple product or group product or external or affiliate products or variable products so if the product is affiliated products you can you have to copy paste the affiliated tick from Amazon or eBay you can copy paste the affiliated product link and the button icon is buy product or buy item or just buy so once a customer click buy item it will redirect you to the eBay or Amazon that's the affiliation for here we are going to uh, put a simple product so we are putting a regular price and sale price and here the SKU is the identification number of the product so you can put any number if you want to manage stock you can uh, put stock so if you have 20 items of one product so you you put a number as 20 if you want to allow back order you can allow or else you can you do not allow because you don't have a stock so you don't need to allow so the threshold low threshold alert so if the product become two it will alert send an alert message to you the products going to be finished or you can update one sold individually means that product cannot be combined so next variable is the shipping so shipping we have already created so no need to worry here and the linked product so if you want to link similar products so you can search that product and add here so I am searching already listed product so it's here so I am selecting one so similarly you can find other products for example boho bangle bracelet so I am searching boho so it will show the product so similarly you can add some similar products so it will appear as the related products in the listing so after that you can add attributes the attributes color size and other things you can add so here I am adding the color so already listed colors here so I can select one so how to create a new attribute for that you have to go to products and select attributes here you can see already created attributes like color and size here so you can add another hip size or something length you can add so I am adding the name length and slug as length and add attribute once it added click configure terms and you can add the lens available lens. So, so I am adding 35 centimeter and add another length is 40 40 centimeter and similarly you can keep on adding let's come back to the product so here you can add product tags so similarly you can go to the products and click tags here you can add any tags for example if you want to add the brand name so you can add brand name as a tags so I am putting CK as a brand and slug CK so add new tag similarly another name Adidas I am adding and add new tag similarly you can add many so let's come back to the product features and here advanced so if you want to change the menu order so new items will be at the top so if you want to order an item in the top or the bottom part you, you can arrange the menu order with number providing number let's open an already listed product and see how to edit the details so I am opening this DNK black shoes so click edit here you can see the the title bar here and the description you can edit here 
and you can see the product category as woman so you can add categories the regular price is 150 if you want to add the sale price you can add 140 or some below price and you can give the product short description and this is the product image so if you want to change the image you can change and if you want to add product gallery image you can add here i am randomly selecting three gallery images so if you want to add upload new images you can upload files i am adding uh, images from available media library and add to gallery if you want to add a brand name as a tag so already created tags are there so i am clicking ck i have already created so it's there so i am adding that one similarly i have created adidas so i'm searching for that so adidas also selected so i, I am adding both these tags so let's update the product and see what is happening we have edited the product title DAK black shoes so let's search shoes so once you search you will find the items title as shoes so we have edited the DNK black shoes so let's open and see so here you can see the sale price and the regular priced items are just listed but the sale price items are listed with the sale tag once you open the item you can see the sale price and the regular price changes also you can see the product category and tags we have added adidas and ck and also we can see the gallery images here and the description you can see and in the below that you can see the related product we have added let's come back to the shop and we can edit the left-sided woocommerce sidebar so in the left-sided sidebar you can see the filter by price and also categories in our best sellers so so we see how to edit this sidebar and how to add new items here for that you have to go to the wordpress dashboard then go to appearance and select widgets so once widget open click this above arrow to shrink the contents so when you shrink you can see main sidebar header foot and other things so we have to select the woocommerce sidebar so click that woocommerce sidebar and it will open so you can see the filter by pr uh, price categories our best sellers are here so you can add or edit these items here you can click this plus icon and add another widget so click search so for example you can add product tags so i click products and rating so i am adding product tags so here you can select the product tag so i have already added two tags that is adidas and ck so you can add post tags so if you added multiple product tags, you can select all the multiple products so the customers will uh, can select the items by tags for example if you add brand names the customers can select the brand names from the tag okay we have edited the shop page products list and woocommerce settings payment all kind of things we have done so let's go to the customers part so once the customer is logged to your system or purchasing item they will go to the my page or my account so this is the customers area where the customer dashboard will appear the customers orders download addresses so those kind of things appear here let's edit the about us page once you open the about us page you can see the title the right sided image with the left sided title and the contents and these items are appearing so let's edit with elementor okay once you select this section you can go here here you can see the about us title you can if you want you can edit here and go down here you can see the image box so if you want you can edit the image if you go to the next section there are two column one is the text column text column you can see the title and the contents on the right side you can see the image words if you want to change the image you can edit here and go down here you can see the counter this moving numbers you can see so on the left side there is a heading so you can edit this heading then you can edit this column this is a counter one you can set up the starting number with the end number and if you want you can have a suffix here similarly you can put this one starting number if you want you can give or else you can keep nil Similarly, you can edit this one. So these are the counter widget of the Elementor you can edit. The next part you can see is the image corrosal that is moving images. There are four images. 
those images are regularly moving so you can edit those images from the image color you can remove unnecessary images and you can add those gallery so this is the image coarser with the moving images you can set up the size and you can see uh, set up the slide so how many slides so you want you can select and you can make the radius this is the curved radius you can see you can increase the curvature like this so those kind of things you can do and update on the right side you can see it's a image box with the image and the title and the description so you can change the image the title and the description next one is the heading box so you can edit this heading here or here and this is the image box and here you can see the icon list you can see the icon marks with the list if you want you can edit here click you can change this icon from the icon library and you can edit the text here you can see the star rating that is 0 to 5 you can put and some testimonial we have done earlier in the front page similarly you can do it here here you can see the edit button so here you can edit the text and also you can give a link to the shop page so these things we have done earlier so that is the about us page let's move to the contact page here you can see the contact page which get in touch it's given the telephone number email address postal address and with some frequently asked questions so this default contact page doesn't have the form to fill by customer directly and contact you direct first let's edit this one it's easy we have done early as we done earlier with the elementor you can edit this heading part is image you can edit and this part is icon box with the text editor you can put the phone number similarly here it's icon box in the text editor you can put the email address here icon box with text editor you can put the postal address similarly here you can put the frequently asked question so this is the heading you can edit image and this is the toggle box so once the customer click only it will open the contents so you, here you can toggle item so you can give the title and the contents similarly you can go give the title and the contents. this is the toggle box this is the default contact form so now we have completed our editing so let's try and order and see what is happening so here i have, i want to buy two items so let's select this bag and add to cart so you can see the cart with the amount is here so similarly i want add another similar item so i select this one so i add to cart so there are two items added here so once you move your mouse it will automatically pop up the items we have selected so we'll go to the checkout so let's click checkout so in the checkout it will show the items we have purchasing and it will ask apply coupons so if you have coupons you can create coupon discounts and put and now we'll proceed to checkout so in the checkout the recurring customer can log in with his username and password if the customer is new so as we are new so we have to register so here i am registering with my name details with the emails and other things so i place order so once i click place order the checkout page will open so you can see the purchase items and here the payment method i have given as the direct bank transfer if the bank detail given in the woocommerce page it will appear here but i didn't give so that's what it's not appearing so let's check the email alert so i am opening the customer side email so as a customer my email is given so here two messages came one message for the your my shop account has been created so once you open you can see the my account details are here so once you click you can edit your username pass password there so that's the first message so we will see the second message that is for the purchasing of new item here your my shop order has been received here you can see the purchase item details price and payment methods and address you have given all the details available as a customer you will receive this message let's open the seller side email and see the notification so i am opening the seller email account that is registered with the woocommerce so let's open it and you can see that the all the 
purchase details will be available. This is it. If you need any further classifications, please leave us a comment. If you need more videos related to WordPress websites, please subscribe our channel.